More than just the art and science of designing and constructing physical buildings, architecture has the power to influence the way we live and design how communities function. One of the top architectural firms in the Philippines, WTA Architecture and Design Studio recognizes this principle, producing architecture that relates to the community, promotes urbanity, and develops society. An architecture that is built on human-centric ideas. We are usually tagged as artists or builders. We're the main professionals that sort of think about how the city is being developed. And the way we see architecture is, it has to be more about ideas. The way we design things, it's, it's very process-oriented. So you start with a program, you have your certain backgrounds, and always part of that background is the social context. We started this firm and we wanted to do architecture our way. It's a different approach to doing design, to solving the city's problems, and for architecture to be relevant to society, it has to engage people, it has to be humanist in its approach. With a group of young, multidisciplinary and idealistic architects, designers and engineers in its roster, WTA strives to break new ground and solidify its presence in the global architectural scene. WTA got finalist at the World Architectural Festival 2015 uh, with our project Urban Block. Being a finalist of the World Architectural Festival is a way of also showing our client that we are able to produce architecture that is recognized in an international way. Instead of creating a skyscraper, what we thought of was to create uh, a cube. So what we came up with was creating an atrium that goes through and through from the roof deck down to the street level below. So the light, natural light comes down. Designing for residential uh, houses, it's a very different challenge as opposed to designing for a general public. So this is a more personal side of architecture. You get to know your client more every day, not just talking about the project, but talking about their life. Each client is different, they have their own routines that they, and it's really important to ask these things of them and for them to communicate it well so that we can incorporate it in the design process from the very beginning. In every project that we do, we still keep in mind the principles of WTA, which is human scale. Basically, this is more connecting to humans. We don't just do luxury projects or huge mega projects. We do small community chapels. We're doing a pop-up library right now. What makes a project interesting is how much impact it's going to have. Like, it can be the most mundane project in, let's say, in a very small municipality, but it might be significant to that neighborhood. One of the more interesting projects that we're doing is this boutique condominium development in San Juan. It's called 12 Luxury Flats. Everyone wants their own mansion in the villages, but we don't have enough land in the city. So how do you change this mindset? We can do a project with all the advantages a small townhouse and more. Our hope is for the studio to be able to develop new ideas, find different areas or various areas where we can make our architecture matter. Architecture that projects an image of what can be and what is possible. Hopefully we get you know more interesting people to come, we find more interesting things to do and you know just make our city better. WTA Architecture and Design Studio cultivates an environment that constantly searches for better and brighter solutions through innovative architecture, defining not only spaces but fostering an enlightened sense of community within the built environment.